Oh, hello everybody to my second attempt to go for this. Uh, I welcome you to what's going to be the ninth session of my Crestorio run. I just tried to stream it already and uh, I had a Windows update. And every time I have a Windows update, it there's a chance to disable my microphone. Didn't notice it, so we had 10 minutes of mute, mute me creating sand. So that's been out of the way and I just restarted that and we're going to have some fun with that. Today we're going to create blue science cards. That's going to be the major point there and after that I haven't really figured out what's going to be the next thing. We're going to have fun while pondering about the new or new op uh, options and opportunities that we have because we were really really there's really a lot of new things that we can do now, you know. And before I get started, just a little bit of an ad roll for uh, my own course here, because I have to. So if you check out the description box, you will find various different links, social media of mine, but I'm talking about the support ones. So every donation really, really helps out a ton. So if you'd check them out, I'd be really more than happy. With that being said, let's get started with gaming. So Mute Me has set up in the last 10 minutes a little bit of a branch off with the sand production and we have here the um, setup already where we, well, we just need to plug in the machines now. I have already fixed up the necessary amount of sand. The cool thing about this area here is that we have easy access to fuel and therefore, well, we just need to create another uh, branch off and uh, then we'll be good to go. So let's just do this like that. And we'll be using this road here for the glass production. So let's check out how the, uh, how one what kind of pressure there is on one of these glass furnaces, inserter-wise, that is. So, it's all about the question, can I afford to make it happen with uh, long-handed inserters or not? So, well, no, I can't. Well, with fast inserters, yes, I can. But that won't really work out with uh, the composition there, so it really doesn't matter too much. Can we drop out the glass with the long-handed inserters? Yes, we can, so we're going to make it like that. Great. Mm -hmm. So, let's drop them down here. There we go. So, blue here, yellow there. Red over here. And you will here. Okay. Smelter column done. We're just going to put three of these under up near so we have a nice tidy belt situation there and done okay glass fixed up we will need now the sulfuric acid and the tech cards let's get the tech cards done real quickly because that's i think the most easy part so let's think for a moment where will i produce my blue cards the whole card production thing is happening over here, and, well, hmm, looks like we have to deal with a little bit of a biter situation there, too. <laughs> but not now. We're just going to branch over here. I think the area there should suffice. I hope the biters won't mind too much. So, here we go. Oh, nano explosives. Hell yeah. 
How about lab research speed? I mean, at this point, I can't really afford to crank up the production and such. So, there we go. You know, the luxury version will be the blue ones later. Blue ones are only... There's even better. That's all I'll say. Okay, so we... Uh, whoops. Get the basic materials over here. And the red tech cards. Well. Um, nope. Here. One day there will be this rolling over here. And then we're going to grab one of these bad boys and wire it over here. I think that's the easiest way to get the job done so far. And then we just drag it over here. Okay. And now, last but not least, we need the... Blank tech card. Okay. Would have really been an option to just produce the blank tech card somewhere else and wire it, wire it in here. Now that I look more closely on it. I think this was a uh, stupid effort that I uh, that I took there. What? Well, whatever. Let's just not ponder about that. So I need 0.8 copper cable per second. Wow. What a whopping amount. Mm. That's okay. So 120 signs per second uh, per minute aren't too much either. But well, so far. I don't want to go for a huge effort there, simply because we will need l way larger numbers later on. Eh? So, and that will be uh, possibly in space or on another base. I don't know yet. So here we go. Uh, that's this stuff, and we're going to drop these guys over here. Probably the red circuits don't want to be there. And I also want to get rid of a little bit of that processed fuel there. I just want to do it now before I forget it again. I tend to forget these things continuously and then I have a crapped inventory like that. Still want to still want to keep a small stack here, nevertheless, because that's actually quite useful to have. Okay, I don't have enough blue um, assemblers anymore, so let's head on over to the mall and grab a few. Alrighty. Okay, here we are. I really need to pave this whole place. Needs flooring. Okay. I think there are only three more. Yeah, three more colors that we need to fill out there. We're making progress. Still a lot of a lot of effort to do, but still making kinda of a lot of kinda of a lot of progress. If I remember correctly, the gray um the science isn't that hard. Okay. So, we got the material we need. So, here goes blank tech card. We need... Yeah, well, you know what? Let's try to put these things here together on the, on the belt. I think that's quite a great thing to do. Okay, so, last thing to do is to fix up the sulfuric acid. So, I vaguely remember that I had some coal connected here. Yeah, I do. So, this is going to be the least of my worries. And we do happen to have some oil connection here as well. Do remember that as well. Here's the oil connector. So, let's just wire up two more refineries. And let's just slap them down here. Oh no, the water connector is in the way. Hmm. Ah well, those cliffs—they won't be—they won't be bothering me much longer. 
Okay, well, 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 let's let's just do it like that. Here goes. Um, we're going to wire us up like that. Can't wait to put that into real scale, but got to start somewhere, you know. There we go. And now the water. Well, let's go for a connector like that. Okay, so now we have patrol. Good. But we're going to need sulfuric acid, as a matter of fact. So we're going to use this stuff to make sulfur. Or sulfur. Oh, we need iron plates. Oh, man. I always forget about the iron plates for the sulfur. Did you know? Always forget about them. So, well, we are going to need... the iron plates around here though, so it won't be that hard. Okay, so let's get the job done here. We're going to put up the facility for the sulfur. Let's just put it down here. And then we're going to have this guy here, but one thing after another. We need to get ourselves water now. and gas. So, let's do it like that. Boom, water. And now for the gas. Well, where did I pipe the other stuff there? So, I did pipe it over there, so probably just use this, because this is nowhere near being fully used, you know. There we go. Let's just wire these up with power as well, because they are fully operating. And now let's just say we're going to put a little bit of an extra arm over here and uh, wire that up, so we got some here. Oh yeah, okay, that'll work out. I think I need to be a little bit... Can I go? Oh no totally hitting that thing. Whatever, it ain't that horrible. We needed to go over. Anyways. Okay, that won't work. And that is why you need so many underground belt things. Because you just end up snuggling your stuff all over the place. That's, by the way, the reason why I always uh, tend to think that large-scale operations for for anything considering fluids are way better than small-scale. Here I'm doing so much work for just a small effort, while I could just do quadruple the amount and have not that much more effort. I won't have quadrupled the effort, you know? That's all I'm trying to say. So, now then, we are going to need just that one machine here, and it's going to need water too. Nice. So, let's just do that like this. Um, if I remember correctly, this thing had an insane hunger for sulfur, exactly. It's, it's massive. As you see here, we really need three fast and soldiers. That's that's how hungry this thing is. 
so and we also happen to be able to wire it up like that way better okay we are uh, we're almost done there so for reasons of laziness i'm just going to uh, use a loader here and then i think we just need to power it up don't we nice okay we got the sulfuric acid now big step forward in every uh in every uh, factory and the best part about it is we have excess production but i don't know if we actually i don't think we produce enough sulfur here no we don't and this is just enough sulfur to uh satisfy the production there forget about that my mining productivity yeah why not i mean that's actually really nice Mm. But since this entire arm of production here is all about satisfying only the needs of the lab, I'm okay with that. You know, this is all about the lab. So we only need that many machines for the blue cards, be that as it may. I don't care. Then we'll do it like that. So now we'll do the blue tech cards we are going to need glass and we're going to need these materials and we're going to need fluid input oh man these things are so annoying okay but we are not going to need much inserter pressure no no not at all so let's say we are going to do this like that And we'll have something like that going on, I guess. That looks plausible. Let's just copy-paste that for now. So that's a bunch of five. That's a bunch of ten. That's the bunch of eleven. Alrighty. And we want to wire up our product here. I think the easiest way to approach the line is from here. So we're just going to do the odd join. There we go. Now, to the real annoying part, we're going to need to uh, wire up these guys just like that here. And this eats up so much pipe stuff, you know, as you see there. Oh, well, whatever, you know. To just do this like that. I am a lazy man. I'm trying to make things as easy as possible. Okay, so we're going to need lots of pipe there. And now we know where we need the sulfuric acid. So, I'm going to make this like that. In scenarios like these, I usually roll with a design like that, that I have this kind of long pipeline there. So, these were my last ones. <laughs> Looks to be me. We're going to pipe on over the glass there as well. Let's use the last pieces of belt that I have on me so we can restock at the mall then afterwards. Alrighty, so there we go. Pretty much. And so we are going to pick up belt and pipe. And let's see what will happen in between. So. Ah. can't wait to have the blue cards on the belt. This will be a real big step forward. So, 
pipe. I was producing the stuff here. And fresh belt. All the other resources are quite fine. Okay, let's go. So on this tour, I'll be picking up the glass. And on the tour back, I'll be creating the tunnel for... Well, let's, let's just do that. This is crazy, but whatever. I'll be creating the tunnel for the fluid trying to roll on over. We are going to pick up power for this uh, beauty here already as well. Go. So we got all that already. And now let's see how the hell we're going to do this. Hooray! Goes all over there. Okay. Where is it? There is it. Okay. I think I yeah. messed it up a tad bit, but whatever, we're getting there. So, and that's the last uh, thing we need to fix up. And voila! Blue Tech Pod. Wonderful. Oh man. It's been about time. Oh, there's uh, one thing though. <laughs> I totally messed up with the belt. I didn't need the red ones. Bust. Need to replace. No! Here they go. I've been too slow. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I do have done that. Shame on me. Well, whatever. Mm. There could be worse things. I'll do a hand deposit. <laughs> I'm a tech card now. I'm a walking tech card. So. Hello, dear. Where are they? Oh, I even have some green ones in my pocket. So, here we go. Chemical tech cards for you all. Okay, so this opens up the access to advanced oil processing. I already ogled on that, as you might have already noticed. And substations. You know, substations are just awesome. We'll have to do a lot of work now to get that done, but whatever. We'll be, we'll be getting there. Meteor point defense. Meteor defense installation. These things. But these need yellow tech cards. Mm, dang. I'll just uh, skip on over that for now. And yeah, advanced radar. But these need rare metals. Mm. Ad advanced radars are awesome. You get so much more power out of just a double amount of uh, juice. So portable generator, hell yeah! Let's let's start crafting ourselves finally some real power armor, shall we? So modular armor, I need a heavy armor for that. First things first, though, I'll need a uh, container to store my stuff in. So here we go. It's very important because oh yeah, okay. It wasn't like that yet. So here we go. Modular armor. Mmm. 
It's making me happy. Zerikin, hi there. Why does solar power seem so underwhelming, at least in the base game? Well, it is meant to be useful once you spam it out like crazy. The idea of it is altogether that the effectiveness lies in raw numbers. If you plot it down, like uh, I like to call it solar acres, and this is... The big advantage there is it doesn't stress out your processor. If you, for example, put up lots and lots of uh, power plants that have very many inserters running and uh, all manner of different processes running where stuff is being calculated, this is much more stressing for the uh, CPU, mostly important for people that are running megabases, but, uh, you know. That's uh, the. That's at least where most people use uh, solar power, or what most people use solar power for. Okay, we are finally done, man. We are finally done. I'm so effing happy, I can't tell you. Let's put on some tax. I mean, this ain't much, but it is mine. And. I was really pondering whether I should amp it up or not or not, but then I figured we will have to expand this all at some point, but I want to delay that to the point where I am running core mining. I really, really hope that when I'm running core mining that I'm finally going to be able to <sighs> get rid of all these annoying logistics, you know. So, at least a man can have wish can wish for something so a portable generator has been researched now from now on we are also getting more and more into the age where things are where, where my power armor is getting more and more important so core mining drill i got all the materials together to put up a core mining drill a core mining drill though needs 25 megawatts so this is quite a, a big deal but as a matter of fact i mean we have it all we have actually really enough power so heck why not sure. what i want to do now though is first off i want to uh, i want to visit my 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 mines i can't tell you how happy i am that finally got this done. I still am a little bit uh, unhappy about the fact that I still have the uh, pleasure up ahead of me to produce red circuits for the mall, which is really no pleasure at all, but whatever, we're going to get there. I just realized in the last episode how annoying the uh, backbone is for circuits here. So, because we either have to grow stupid amounts of wood, or we're going to churn through hilarious amounts of stone to get the stone tablets running. Both methods don't really please me too much, and I hope that rather sooner than later a option will show up how I can produce wood more efficiently. Because right now, I'm frankly said unhappy. But whatever, we're getting, we're going to get there. So, how much does uh, one of these warehouses store? Well, more than <laughs> we are actually able to put in. Nice. So, yeah, that's why I came. I wanted to prop off a couple of these bad boys here and see how the situation has developed. So, we're going to have we're going to need to put up new outposts rather sooner than later i think but the most important thing that i want to get running i think is for now the what's called cliff explosives because what i do feel like is that cliffs are really bothering me quite a lot here So this tiny stone deposit should be depleted soon as well. 
my neighbors, the biters. Hi. Let's check out the ion deposit there as well. Alright, we're finally getting closer to what I'd like to call real business. Alright. Wacky, isn't it? But it was the best connection. This was a pretty wacky deposit to begin with, too. So why on earth do I have a setup that doesn't uh, pick these four nodes up? Good thing that I came on by here, you know? I would have been quite annoyed by that. So this one here, yeah. This one won't be picked up either. So, you will get a, uh, a special delivery here. So, iron ore, I don't want that in my pocket. Okay. Well, this place will be shut down pretty soon as well. We have here, though, well, around 150k. Are you kidding me? Over there is some stuff, too. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Whatever, we are going to just wire that in. Hmm, where's the start of this madness? There. Okay. So, these super scattered deposits are whack, but whatever. I'll just mine it and don't care. Okay, so we have core mining tech finished. This has been reworked with this new version and I'm itching to try that out since quite some time. So non-stack and certa capacity plus one. Hell yeah, this is the one tech that I really was looking for. Oh yikers, we need to... Uh... Need to remove somebody here. So, there we go. Sorry, had to remove some chat troll. Okay, we have that, we got that. Now, let's see. We have core mining sites, and I want to use them. So, core miners are. We're going to need pulverizers as well, if I remember correctly. So. I'd say we're going to go back to the Batcave. Um, so I've cropped up this, I've cropped up that. We're going to need this uh, connection there too, but one thing at a time. Did this guy run out just when I was not looking? Tragic. Let's pay a visit to the coal deposit as well. Yeah, I see some depleted miners there too. This is a very, very important thing here. This is my power supply, you know. If this runs out, we are in trouble. That's why I'm going to put up a megalomaniac amount of uh, mining machines now. Just to make sure that nothing funky here ha can happen, which could be bothering my production here in the long run. So the days of these slow miners are counted as well. There will be 
more effective machines in the future. Okay. Good. I think that was also quite important to get that done. I don't. I don't think I need to hit this. Uh, uh, this place here. Or. Okay, so let's check it out. These, uh... We're going to just experiment around with that, I'd say. Let's just hope I don't get ran over by a train. Okay. So I am eating up a lot of uh, material here. Tishi, hi there. So happy to meet you. Hope you have a fine day so far. Okay, so core mining drills. They require concrete mini mining drills. I also saw that. Saw that. Electronic circuits and steel plates. So I vaguely remember that I had everything already on a belt. So we have electronic circuits uh, rolling downhill here. We have the we have them with steel belts together. So that's one thing we already have taken care of. And these guys here, they want advanced circuits. That's one thing that I need to take care of next. That's the real most important thing next that we have red circuits available for them all that's really really important and after that rare metals oh gosh there's always something new to do okay never mind let's just uh well why not projectiles i mean i have everything let's do everything i know why i love this game so but let's set up a core mining drill situation first. So we'll need lots of regular electric miners to get the job done there. So where am I producing these bad boys as of yet? Here. Brilliant. I have no concrete in the vicinity though. That's the one thing we are lacking, aren't we? So yeah, as a matter of fact, the only thing we are lacking, I have the concrete on the belt here. We are using concrete so far here, but I have mixed it there, so I'm not interested. So we would need to get the concrete somewhere from here to, uh, well, let's say over there. Mm. It smells just like spaghetti my mama used to make. So, well, I want to find a way that's not destroying my my options too much. So we're going to roll on like that. So the mining drills here, all the other materials there. So split off into this direction so first things first will be dropping this stuff there so needs a red one Okay, step one. I think it is really worth it to just uh, do a split off here. So we have that, we have that, and then we just have to whittle in the concrete, but I already can see a route there. And it looks horrible because it makes, it takes up 
just this narrow passage. I always feel increasingly alarmed if I use up the last narrow passage a system had to offer. Okay, but uh, I think we got this now. That's all we needed for the production of ore mining drills. So, there we go. Me happy now. Especially since it was actually really easy to whip it up. That's because this place is pretty well prepared all in all. We have quite a good thing there. Still early game? Yes, Tishi, pretty much. I started new with a new version and, well, I haven't found time the last four days to uh, get on up ahead. I'm going to grab myself a new cup of tea. I'll be right back in a flash. There we go. Just like I promised. Didn't take long. I feel like I am finally leaving the worst stage of the early game, though. So, at least that's the illusion. Oh, come on, you. Crap a real inserter. <laughs> okay. So, while that's cooking... Ow, it's costly. It's really taking a while until this uh, actually picks up the resources. If I remember correctly, this was one of the items that requires uh, a slot per item. Where I'm from? From Germany. Thanks for asking. So, okay. I don't think I need more of that. The only thing that I really need for the sake of my sanity is that. Now, pulverizers. Next thing, iron plate, steel plate, concrete pipe. Now that's a lot more, a lot easier. So, mm, shouldn't we have some of that stuff available somewhere here around? So, here's iron plate. And... Do we have another supply of steel? Mm. <laughs> I like the accent. Happy to hear that, man. I grew it all myself. <laughs> so, yeah, I knew it. I have a pure... Um, I have a pure steel line there. So... Concrete, steel, iron. So we're going to wire it down like here. Oh man, this place is getting messier and messier, but... The fate of the early game mall, when you are lacking the materials to, to make things not messy, you know. I don't have access to the blue belts yet, which would make efficient connections, efficient long distance connections, you know. But we'll be getting there. It's one of the parts I love about this game, that it always forces you into uh, adapting anew. You know, finding new iterations, finding new solutions, restructuring old stuff. I love that. This is something I really, really love about this game. So, we need more iron, so let's pick up some iron. This... Uh, Production. This iron production will be overstrained very soon as well, I bet. I mean, we are picking up from a 15 belt, you know, 15 iron plates per second. That's a joke for the kind of strain I'm putting on the system by now. But, you know, whatever. 
it's working out. It might be a joke, but it's a joke that works out. So let's just produce the pipes right there next door and the pulverizer there. My big dream is once I have the core mining setup is to uh, structurize a nice looking wall with the endless supplies of the of, of this system. At least that's the plan. But while while I'm still on a small scale, I don't feel like mapping out too much. You jealous? Well, gotta say I I I was always running around like that, so it's the product of uh, being stoic in society. No need to be jelly though. Oh, uh, there's a uh, there's a need of iron plate there too. I forgot. Boom. I like it. So let's get on over to the to the core mining drill facility. Still not done. Jeez, it's almost like nuclear power. Okay. Well, but the good stuff is we're getting some some stuff done there. And let's see, where's the next best? This one is really close by. I really, really feel like using that. Or this one near the mineral water patches. Here we have even two together. Is that actually a thing? No. Yield 213%. These have different yields? No. No, 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 no. It's just the, the general general number. Or we have that down here. Cute starter base. Pure little th poor little thing ran out of iron. So no, I think this is uh, as a matter of fact the best spot to uh, begin with. Really think this. Uh, this also sits at a really nifty spot where we can wire it up and connect it to the rest of the factory. I really like this. This I, I really like how this uh, is uh, looking. Yeah, just like I thought. The core mining drills uh, taking up the entire space there. Okay, we are going to produce one more of these baddies, and until then, I'm going to set this up and see how it works now. Because I heard this has been reworked, and I can't wait. There was a choo choo! I saw the choo choo! Alright, so I feel like I also left the proper spot open there. So, core fragments. FNEI, tell me, tell me, tell me, core fragments. Tell me all about the core fragments. So, usage. Core fragment can be transformed into... What, say what? Um, no, 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 I'm on the wrong item. Here... Wrong button, there. No, no, I'm looking for... I think this stuff here. Are you kidding me? We are producing all that stuff there? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I love it. So, this is going to be really interesting. What's this hole in the ground? This is the new uh, core mining seams. In the old version, you were allowed to put down core miners wherever you want to. This is no longer a thing. You have to put down your core miners now on these seams. As a return for that, the core miner, one singular core miner has gone way more efficient than, than before. So, to give you a bit of an excuse. Alright, so that means how many core fragments does this thing spit out per second? 7.7. .7. So, luckily, a regular yellow belt can transport. Wonderful. So, man, this is exciting. I'm running out of uh, power pole. Okay. So, the real exciting question is going to be how much ore per second does this thing actually provide? How much factory can I run off one core miner? And the next thing there is, 
I need to think about where to centralize this uh, whole thing there. And we need to talk about enriched ore. I think uh, ore enrichment, let's uh, want to know where the tech is. So I'll need atmospheric condensation and advanced chemistry first. This is also very important tech. Very, very, very important tech. We're going to get so much more out of our ore with this tech. Definitely going to pick that up. So there we go. What did I want to pick up? Power poles. And probably pulverizers. If we have already any. So let's just go for one stack first. And a portable generator. Mm, well, okay. We also happen to need batteries, so yeah. The mall needs some add-ons. The mall needs the uh, the um, oil add-ons. Right now, the entire production here is without oil. So, okay, we got a stack of five pulverizers. Hell yeah. We're also going to pick up a fla uh, pack of uh, flare stacks. Very important stuff too. And let's hop on down there again. So, pulverizer. Where art thou? Here. Yay! The first of these thingies that I saw in the intro. At least a low-tech version of that. So, let's see. Don't know how the hell you get these uh, specified core fragments, but I think this is the recipe we will be going for. So, let's have a jolly old readout. So, we are going to process two of these baddies per second, and we are going to... Since we have 7.7, .7, we're going to facilitate four of these guys. So let's uh, make this happen already. But I already decided that they'll have two slots of a distance there. I don't know how much distance from one another, though. Because of the many fluids that we are going to have to... Uh, output. I mean, I have oil, I have mineral water, and I have pyroflux, and and I have regular water. So there's really a lot of stuff happening there. So the basic setup shall be very much like this. So we're piping this stuff in via, in via Lotus. I think that's really the easiest way to go for it. And then we have to organize four different fluids. Is it now in? It doesn't. Oh, I think I... Ah, now I have it. Four different fluids and uh, a bajillion of different outputs. Maybe I shouldn't put this parallel. No, we're definitely not going to put this parallel. I, I'm making myself think. I'm making things a lot harder for me if I do so. No, no, we're going to put them on a line. That's way better. So, let's see. I feel like the outputs are going to be much happier like that. And. What's Pyroflux, actually? Tell me, game. What's Pyroflux good for? We can use Pyroflux and transform it into some minerals and steam. Lots of steam. We can also use it later for smelting technologies. And... Well, 
we can also transform it into rocket fuel. So all in all, it sounds like it would be a smart choice to stockpile that stuff, because we might need it later. So let's see, huge storage tanks. We don't run these yet either in the mall. So these will be necessary from now on too. So freaking excited, man. Okay, well then. The other fluids aren't that much uh, of a interesting thing. I mean, I'm going to put up now a mass production of storage tanks nevertheless. Because I want to have the ability to just soak it up and use it to some degree. But, well, I don't think this is that important. So, huge storage tanks are at least very simple creatures. They exist simply out of steel, so all we need to do there is to set up a facility that provides the necessary things it, it requires, and that's simple enough. We're going to need three assemblers. One brings up steel pipe, one brings up steel bar, no beam, and then that's all we need for the huge storage tank. Oh, done. Very simple recipe. Albeit very costly, though. But whatever, you know. Nothing is cheap, which is good. Alright, so we're going to get the job done here over the course of the time. Because I really want to stockpile these fluids a tad bit. They are just too valuable to just flush them out, you know? Okay, but all in all, it becomes quite clear that this is going to be a bit of a bigger project. What I want to do now is I much rather want to get myself up and produce red circuits for the mall. Because seriously, we need red circuits and we need oil and we need sulfuric acid and that's the next few things that i want to whip up because i really want don't want to fall back with the products that we can now set up since the last tech upgrade and therefore let's keep going with these so i have a stone from here it's 200k actually the maximum amount Seems like it is. Okay. I now know the maximum capacity of a warehouse if it is rocking 400 st stacks of 400. Okay. So, first things first, we're going to require a lot of stone for the red circuit production and a lot of wood as well. So, I think we should be actually quite well off with going for production like that. We're just going to uh, copy what we had there when I was producing the red tech cards, so let's check out the recipe in detail though. I can change up this with pulverizers now. That's more efficient. There we go. And well, this is just a nightmare. I don't like that. But I really don't know what I should do otherwise. Uh, and we need coal for that. That's another ingredient. Apart from that, we are also going to need a lot of copper plate. And a lot of greenhouse. So we have a couple of greenhouses here already. We're going to have to expand on that massively. But the good news about that is we already have the necessary sand for, I don't know, let's see. So these greenhouses don't even uh, remotely stress out this thing. Wonderful. Okay, atmospheric regulation. Let's go for advanced chemistry and afterwards the ore enrichment tech. Because that's really one thing that I want to get uh, into as quick as possible because we really, really need that. Okay, 
So let's get on started with 18 new greenhouses for that. We are going to produce our new stuff, let's say over here, I like that. We have a lot of room there and, uh, well, seems like a good area for that. So we are going to get our sand train over here. Does this work out? Yeah, perfectly. Or is it perfect? Yeah, it does. It does. Okay, so we're now going to set it up like that. There will be a more effective recipe for, for wood one day soon, I bet. So here we go. Sand input. Wood output. And let's just copy that. That's four, that's six, that's eight, ten, twelve. quite crazy to see how much material there is necessary or how much room there is necessary for that or just the, the wood production alone or just two effing red circuits per second but I know that two red circuits per second are as a matter of fact a pretty good number to uh, to rock with this way we won't be we have a pretty uh, nice production this way it ain't it, it it ain't insane or anything, but it's also pretty solid. There we go, and we'll uh, wire that. Get rid of the stone there. Oh, I have one thousand blocks of stone in my pocket. It's about time to uh, use that, and we'll be just setting it like that. And then we are out of belt again. But at least everything was set up there. Mm -hmm. Am I running out of greenhouses? Outrageous. That's been the last thing to expect, but whatever. We'll be getting down. Okay, so... Let's power up what we already got. I don't know why, but for, for some odd reason, I really like greenhouses. kind of have that soothing character. There we go. So let's grab greenhouse there and then connect that up. Luckily, the mass production of greenhouses is just around the corner here, so that's the least of my worries. There we go. I'm super happy how well the train supply of this base has worked out with just a very, very simplistic network, which comes without any rail signaling or anything else. I mean, sure. It's not expandable into larger scales, but we don't need to yet. Alright, so you can see here these guys are kicking into gear one after another. So we have fixed up the wood production, and the next step now is going to be, well, 
what's it going to be? We'll have to process oil somewhere and we'll have to do lots of stone processing somewhere. Yeah, that's the two big things. Let's start on out with the stone processing. I hate that the most, to be fair. Okay, so. There we go. This should also work like that. And we're going to put stuff like here. Whoopsie, that's the wrong. There we go. So we really need only, what, 0.4 units of sand for that? Are you freaking kidding me? Whatever. Still gonna rock the gonna rock it there. Ugh. So damn thirsty. No, we need actually quite a lot of sand there too. Okay. And so first things first. Let's do the sand production and we will need some sort of fuel for the furnaces. Damn. But actually not so much of a problem because we happen to have this processed fuel running all over the place. But first, let me grab some belt. And I want to place down some runway here. Because it really bothers me that we are not capable of traveling here fast. this more raw material to make wa uh, walkways with I like that and let's just keep running here like that back to the mall Back to Le Mall. Alright, there we go. So, a bit of belt, a bit of underground belt, the usual suspects. Also, yellow inserters, I just noticed, are running out a little bit. Okay, nice. Now then, next step, the whole sand, uh, sand stuff. But we are going to need some fuel first, I said. Let's uh, start out with that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here, there's a good spot. the uh, distances the stuff is traveling here in this factory are no joke anymore. I really got to change that up in the near future because this is going to bite my back at some point. But luckily we are all going to set on over to uh, electric smelting anyways. Let me mute the mic for a sec. Because nobody wants to hear that, you know. Alright, so we got that. Now we can create sand. And out of that sand, we're going to create glass. And all the other stuff we need for the red circuits. Okay, so first, seriously, only one of these guys? Man. Okay, 
So let's start out with that. Mm. Lately I, I start using the loaders way more. Because they are a pretty comfy way of uh, putting material into your machine. And didn't we have access to water somewhere? No? Yes, maybe. Hopefully. There's water. I knew it. So... I'm able to access it from there. Okay, that's enough. And then... Yeah, no, no, no. Not, not expand it even further. If I really only need one frickin' furnace for that, be that as it may, then we're just going to go for one frickin' furnace. There we go. Glass. Then we're going to pick up the water now. And that's going to be the last time I'm setting up red circuits in a small scale. After that, <laughs> we're going to go for bigger swings, you know. Oh crap, I only have that much iron plate left? Good god. So... Let me grab some iron plate there. Yum. Thank you. Alright. And let's connect these jolly folks. We're going to need water here anyway, so... It's a very important connection we'll, we're making here. There we go. Alright, so... The processed fuel will be of importance here still. Because we actually seem to be able to just run... Let's see, we're going to be able to run this actually really with just one furnace. Nice. So... Boom. Boom. Bam. Done. Alright. So, whoopsie, wrong direction. Mm. Yeah, let's wire that up and see if it works out like I... Like I uh, have it in my mind there. So, yep. Working out nicely. Awesome. So, the only thing I want to know now is... do these work together nicely okay done 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 and done so what's left now is a little bit of oil processing and copper 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 and then a bit more copper so here's the oil if i just let it run upwards there yeah 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 we go there And coal. Good lord. Coal. We got coal on the belt here. And it's originating from there. Actually, it's not a much of, it's not much of a big deal to transport it over there. Neat. I love it when a base is planned halfway decently that things are coming together really, really easily. So, I now forgot what I wanted to pick up. No! I hate it when that happens. Oil. I wanted to pick up the oil. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to pick up the... ...entirety of this box here. How many of pipes to ground? Yes. It's the only legit answer if you ever ask yourself that. 
Trust me, I'm an engineer. So, yeah, next job, we're carrying our oil over to the other place. I love it that these things aren't much of a big deal if everything is already set up, you know. So, here we go. Oil. So here we can produce everything regarding oil for our wall here. Okay, soaking up tremendous amounts of stone here. Necessary evil. There we go. So, something is uh, amiss. Our tech froze. Let's check out what's wrong. Well, let's check it out on the radar. So, red tech cards are working out nicely. The blue ones are not. So, what's happening here? The red tech production has stopped. This input is dry. We've ran out of these crystal thingies here. And that's because this thing is somehow not picking up sand anymore. Hmm. Must have been a whoopsie there when I uh, optimized something. Okay, let's head on over there. Spread some termite bot love on our way. Get rid of those pesky trees. And that's why I like these runways that I have built there in between. They really, really speed you up. They really do. Speaking about which... Let's make a couple of them more. So... Here we go. Yeah, so for, ever, for whatever reason that is, this machine is not picking up the sand it needs anymore. Hmm. Did this ever work? <laughs> well, whatever. We're going to fix that nevertheless. I'll just whip up a splitter here, and we'll just do the easiest thing. I have that stuff in there directly. And now the production should roll again. Yep. Okay. Nice. Now then, I am stuck at this part of the puzzle. So, next thing that I want to do, I want to roll the coal over there. We're going to require quite a lot of belt for that again, but that's okay. Let's pack up a big package into the pocket right away. Here we go. And then... We get in there. So, more walkway here, I'd say. And why am I here right now? Ah, yeah, because I need the coal. There we go. Just installing some random walkway that we have. Always some, some method of getting what we want to. 
Okay then, I'm going to go for a uh, regular boring yellow loader, because there's really no need for us to go for a crazy fast connection there. So... Let's sweep that through here. And now it's just going to roll alongside with the with the wood there. Okay. But honestly, let's do ourselves one favor. And I'll pipe the oil over all over to this place here. And we're going to do the oil and plastic shenanigans on this side so we'll have this part of the arena open for all the all the circuit building and what's uh, involved with that i never have ever regretted it to have uh, left up more space for things that i didn't know how much space they'll actually need one day. I never regret that a single time. Okay, so here we go. Oil refinery, bam. Mm, we're going to go right here. So, just like that. And then we'll have to check out where we get our water from. But I guess the greenhouses down there can provide. We are also right next to a big lake, so if there ever is a larger need, we're able to wire up a lot more there. So, here it goes. Wonderful. Okay. Nifty. We got that, and now we're going to need that. Now let's make that happen here. Input of material there. Okay, so once we have the red circuit on our uh, on our plant, the next thing there will be, I guess, sulfuric acid, so we can produce explosives. I think that's the next bigger step there. Okay, so we got that, and we can now. Churn out plastic. There we go. Done, done, and done. So we got the necessary ingredients for the inserter parts. So basically now we really only need to process some copper and get the rest down. Just like that. Yay! Okay, now then. Um... Inserter parts. I won't be needing much more of that. Ooh, that copper were in my pocket. Yuck. So, let's uh, fix up the inserter parts here. Whoopsie, wrong button. So, three machines we're going to need, it says. So, here it goes. Red, red, red. Blue, blue, blue. And boom, insert of parts. Alrighty. 
And now let's uh, quickly patch up something to make green circuits in a larger scale there. So here goes. Mm -hmm. So six machines patching up copper wire. Okay. That's five. Are we okay with one Fossenser each? Yes, we are. Beautiful. So, here we go. These are supposed to do the drop near thing. These are going to be regular configured. And this is going to be red belt, because otherwise we won't be able to tack, uh, pack that on one belt. Okay. That's the copper cable, the plastic, and now we basically just need to put the, the, the ingredients together. And now... Ah, yeah, wood! Of course, of course. The crazy amounts of wood we need. Exactly. Triumph, though. Until we need the blue cards. <laughs> the blue cards will be uh, some exquisite pain again. When we are going to need to do that all over again. And larger. But one thing at a time. Okay, so for the green circuits, we're going to need only three machines. So, one, two, and three. So, wood goes here, circuit go, uh, cable goes there, and we can output that on far away belt like that. Beautiful. Okay, nice. Okay, there it goes. And now, last but not least, Put these things together. Oh, the copper wire I am producing is also going to be used for the uh, remaining red uh, red belts there. Um, red circuits, I mean. So we have, as our last ingredient there, the inserter parts. And as a matter of fact, I think I'll let them roll down this way. And, yeah, 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 we're going to do this like that. And then we'll squeeze in the six of these guys there. Alright, nice starter setup. Like that. Going to do much larger things later, but whatever. It's a nice thing to start with. And output goes here. Alright. Let's multiply that real quick. And make sure this rolls down into the mall afterwards. Alright, so I'll leave it like that for today. I'm really happy that I got it that far, and now we are going to tune out for today. The red circuits will allow me to do a lot of cool things that I weren't able to do so far. Next time I'm going to fix up the sulfuric acid we need for batteries and uh, lots of other cool things. We can now produce stack inserters, which will change the way I can do unloading stations quite tremendously. 
and let's see. I don't remember what I have now as well there available. So we can do modules. We'd need electronic components for that. Obviously, it would be worth it to set this up in a larger scale, huh? We'll see about that as well. Here, batteries. They need sulfuric acid. We need batteries all over the place now. In the future, especially for um, my personal gear. But also for solar power, if we ever want to rock it. Hmm. Well, a couple of things. I'm going to have a think about that. And I thank everybody who's been hanging around there for the good company. And uh, if you are watching this as a video on demand, comments go down below. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing. And as a last shout out, I mentioned it at the beginning of the video. And I want to mention it again in the description box. You will find links to my social media stuff. Twitter, where I post every new stream, and all the other places where you can find me, and as well, links for direct support. I would very much appreciate if you check them out. Every donation helps me a ton. My content will always stay free. No paywall policy will ever happen to me, and I can use all the help that I can get. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye-bye.